Hey there! How's everyone doing, dear viewers? This is AK at Yanliang. Uh, I guess this is a textile market. Yes, it's a textile market along with all kinds of clothing. And since it's New Year, plenty of everything else as well. Uh, lots of snacks. This is probably the most popular open market in this entire town. And um, it's a place that I used to frequently come to when I was little. Um, I went to school here for a few years, so this place brings a lot of nostalgia. Um, anyways, I actually ordered myself a bubble tea just ahead, so there was a huge lineup. It's gonna take a while before they finish making it. Anyways, that's all for now. Till next time, AK signing out. Ladies and gents, it's AK here in the middle of nowhere after riding this bike from my aunt for two hours. Uh, it's a nice little village and I'm just here to check out a few random stops here and there. The fields, abandoned stations, abandoned houses and whatnot. Anyways, gonna head back to the town to meet up with my grandma and have dinner. It's the night before Chinese New Year after all, so that's all for now. Peace out. Hey, it's AK here. This is still the night before Chinese New Year in the little town called Yanliang, and this is the marketplace. Um, this marketplace is the second closest to the one where my grandma lives, and um, the one closest to us is already, well, demolished at this point. So this one is still functional, and yeah, as you can see, there is pretty much no one here. Every store is closed. Um, everyone's preparing for New Year's. And yeah, some of us are just out here strolling for no reason. But I'm going to be going to Grandma's after this again for a second dinner. So that's all for now. Till next time, AK signing out. Hey there, everyone, dear viewers. It's AK here. And what you just saw there, that's Demolish. So, this is where I stayed when I was in this town. Mm -hmm. And um, everything is gonna be gone soon. This is our old storage area, and this is the apartment that we used to stay in. And um, everyone's already been evacuated. And uh, these old buildings will be demolished soon, as you can see here. Now, uh, the good thing is that these places are really not suitable for living for a modern person. Well, I guess not everybody is gone, but most of the, most of the residents are gone. Uh, these places are not suitable for living because it's basically just a brick, uh, brick room filled with nothing. Uh, let's see if we can find... No, okay. But, yeah, I guess that's it. Okay, there's one. Yeah, basically this is how it looks like inside. It's literally just a brick room with nothing unless you put something in there but still you can see this structure it's not gonna stand so sadly these places will have to go and um, I make space for better buildings essentially when they planned to build these housing complexes um, they never really thought about planning ahead for the next century. So when they built these in the 80s, uh, 90s, they never thought about making these things last until 2021. Uh, nobody had cars back then and running water wasn't even a thing. Uh, it's not a household must. Not to mention stuff like electricity, uh, Wi-Fi, and so on. Oh, this, this used to be an old chess table. A bunch of old people used to gather here, but uh, it's just a stool now. Uh, 
All right, I guess that's basically it. I'm glad that um, the living standards have improved drastically over the last 20, 30 years, but uh, some, some sacrifices have to be made. And um, even though there's a strong nostalgia factor, it's still good to see these buildings finally saying goodbye to us after serving us for a few decades during the worst of times. So for now. It's the first day of New Year, and pretty much everything is still closed. Right now it's noon, so it's kind of a rare sight to see the most popular shopping streets are empty. Um, yeah, I guess this is it. This is New Year's. This used to be an old hospital, and now that's uh, getting demolished because they built a bigger one pretty much across the street. And um, yeah, that's about it. Until next time. Okay, so it's a little different on Main Street. Um, even though all the shops are still closed, you can see a lot of people and cars walking around. Uh, I guess they're going for lunch because that's exactly what I am doing. Maybe some of them are just bored and coming out of a hangover because pretty much everyone gets drunk last night. Um, which was kind of hilarious for someone like me to watch because, you know, watching drunk people making a fool of themselves is funny for a sober guy. Um, yeah, this is the main street. That's the old theater. Um, the only theater for the last... Whew, 50 years or so. Yeah, the, <clears throat> the newer theaters are or have been built about 10, 20 years ago. Maybe not 20, yeah, around 15 years ago, I think. So this used to be the only theater in town. And uh, this is the first shopping mall to my left. It's a little hard to see through the smog and the trees and the cars, but uh, it comes with its own little square with lots of balloon sellers and candy sellers. But yeah, that's the, I think this is the first mall of this town, which was built in around 2002, maybe? Could have been later, because the first time I saw this mall was in like 2008, 2005. And uh, this was once a very important intersection, and it still is. You can find all kinds of uh, street vendors here. This one sells candied fruit, candied haw. All right, time to cross. <laughs> 